Hello everyone, welcome to JG Chemistry class. Guys, in today's video, we will learn about the fragmentation method for alkyl halide and ethers. And here we will solve one of the previous year MSc chemistry problem. The topic belongs to mass spectroscopy. And I have already covered some of the topic of mass spectroscopy like what is Leffert DB arrangement, what is MALDI and ionization techniques belongs to the mass spectroscopy. I will share the link in the description box. Uh, you can watch the videos from there. And if you have any other doubt in any fragmentation mode here in this problem or in any other problem of mass spectroscopy, you can do, uh, you can write in the comment section. I will try to resolve your doubt. Now we will see the problem on mass spectroscopy of alkyl halide and ethers. So the question is here the mass spectrum is given uh, for uh, you can uh, notice here two molecules are given here one is uh, one bromohexane there are six carbon and other is di substituted molecule ether is given you it is unsymmetrical molecule and the m by z is also given the mass to charge ratio for both the molecules. So basically we need to uh, find out these fragmentation which are mentioned in the problem. This problem belongs to the BCU MSc chemistry previous year problem. So we will solve one by one. This molecule we can also write in this form. So you can notice here there are six carbon one, two, three, four, five, six and each carbon here is having two hydrogen. The terminal is having three hydrogen. So if you have gone through mass spectroscopy alkyl halide fragmentation, you must be familiar of that uh, uh, it forms a cyclic uh, five membered ring containing bromine if you have a longer chain of a uh, longer alkyl chain in the alkyl halide. So here you can notice we know that in mass fragmentation all the molecules which you are having here will first form the molecular ion peak. So whenever you are showing the fragmentation you first have to do the radical cation formation that is most important and then uh, we are showing here this ethyl terminal ethyl is giving its electron to bromine. So basically it is releasing as a free radical here and bromine is having a positive charge. So since the mass spectroscopy is a technique which uh, detects the cation and radical cation, so this particular cation will also be detected. So the molecular ion uh, peak is C6H13Br plus radical, radical cation. So the mass for the molecular ion peak is 164 since bromine is 79 and its isotope is 81 so plus 2 is 166. So you must be familiar of isotope abundance. I have already recorded a video on it. So you can find the link in the description box and uh, find out what is isotopic abundance. So basically this first fragment which we have seen here belongs to C4H8Br plus and if you find the molecular weight of it m by z ratio it is 135 and the m plus 2 peak belongs to 137. So basically the two fragmentation which is given in the question 135 and 137 belongs to this particular structure. The next we have to define uh, 85 how we are getting. So you can notice here the structure for one bromohexane is given and if this particular alkyl chain gives its full electron to Br. So it, this is called inductive cleavage. Br is released as free radical and CS2 will get a positive charge here. Since it is a primary free radical and we know of primary carbocation and we know the stability of carbocation. Tertiary is more stable than secondary and then primary. So it will try to rearrange itself into the secondary here which is more stable and uh, basically it will not change the uh, molecular weight of the compound only this is a representation correct representation in which state the fragmentation will stay for a longer period of time. So if we count the number of carbon and hydrogen it is C6H13 plus and after calculation of its uh, molecular weights carbon is 12, 12 into 6 plus 13 into 1 it is 85. So in the above question where they are asking you to justify the fragmentation for these m by z value, this is a structure C6H13 plus for the fragmentation. Now next is given ether, 
so we can also write this structure in this format where you have here five carbon chain and here you have isopropyl group radical cation you have to form first whenever you are showing the mass spectrum so if you calculate the carbon hydrogen and oxygen it is c8h18o and m by z if you count it is 130 so this is a molecular ion peak now the peak which is given in the question was 115 115 we have to justify which is coming 130 minus 115 so basically loss of 15 is happening m minus 15 which belongs to csv so m minus cs3 that means the terminal methyl group is released as a free radical and you are having a carbocation here which is primary so rearrangement will take place to form a more stable secondary carbocation and m by z if you find for this fragmentation for c7h15o it is 115 so basically the first fragmentation in the given question we have found out the structure of it the next which they are given is you have to find out that fragmentation that again is because of the inductive cleavage this particular long chain alkyl chain is giving its electron so inductive uh, cleavage getting a positive charge on this alkyl chain uh, which is primary will rearrange and uh, it is c5h11 plus so you can get uh, and calculate the m by z which is 71 so in the above question the two mass was given 115 and 71 so we have justified the structure of both the fragmentation the loss of the other side free radical species so i hope uh, you have understood how uh, to find out uh, the fragmentation uh, structure which is given and whatever fragmentation is given to you in the question you have to basically assign the structure for those fragmentations only not uh, for the ether entire ether you don't have to do it just have to find out the one which is given in the question okay and the strategy is you first find out the mass of the molecular ion and then just see uh, the mass of the fragment which is given in the question you have to just subtract the two and find out how much is losing so here the loss is minus 15 and we know minus 15 could be because of csv similarly you can find in the other case 130 and uh, if you just see 71 how much is released and what are the all possibilities which we can see here normally we know it is alpha cleavage is the most frequent one so you just uh, try to see and you will get the structure of the fragment ion so if you have any other query related to the mass spectrus uh, other other uh, this uh, other functional group related you can uh, write in the comment section or if you have doubt again in the same video you can also write your doubts in the comment section in the on my channel so now see you in the next video till then happy learning